Well, many are looking for meaningful ways to support local nonprofits this holiday season, especially this year. The nonprofit Impact 100 Greater Indianapolis is a local women's giving circle. It focuses on collective giving. So joining us now from the south side of Indianapolis is Julianne Robinson. She's the vice president and membership chair of Impact 100 of Greater Indianapolis. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? Well, thank you. Well, let's just jump in. If anyone doesn't know um, what Impact 100 of Greater Indianapolis is, just tell us a little bit about it. What's its focus? Yes, we are a charitable women's giving circle, so we're dedicated to high impact grants and that we give those to our local nonprofits in our community. So we're founded in 2006. We're a 5013C and we have given away over $2.5 million in the last 15 years. So we are definitely focused on grant giving and our women um, that join are allowed to uh, participate in the committees. We have five areas that we focus on, and that's art, culture, and preservation, education, environment, and animal welfare, family, and health and wellness. And so what we do is participate through a very thorough grant process. We have uh, three parts to it, and then by May, we reveal who the five finalists are, and then we have a celebration in June with the, at least one $100,000 winner. Wow. Now, I think this is a really important message that you have here. You're reminding everyone, anyone can be a philanthropist. You don't have to be extremely wealthy. A lot of people tie the two together in their heads. How do we do that? So, yeah, so um, our group is all women that love philanthropy, and we can uh, certainly join. There's over, um, so, there's so many nonprofits in the area, but we love the fact that, again, we focus on the grants and give the, the big grants. So our membership, um, our deadline is December 31st this year and so we you can sign up on our website at www.impact100indy.org and we also have a January 8th deadline if there's any nonprofits out there that would like to apply for our grants January 8th is our deadline and that info is also uh, on our website and you do, if you do want to join there is a benefit to joining this year by December 31st um, what is that benefit Yes, this year there's an added incentive through the CARES Act, and that allows more people to easily deduct up to $300 in donations if it's made uh, before December 31st, 2020. So even if you normally don't itemize, but check with your accountant to be sure. So yeah, yeah that's, get that that's exciting um, for this year. Julian, you said you were founded in 2006. Have you seen um, a need greater than you've seen this year in 2020? And what is your hope for 2021? Well, th yeah, this year it, it's it, we had two hundred thousand dollars to give away, and we actually pivoted as an organization so that the other four finalists would be able to have money um, split between them because the need has been so great. Uh, operational expenses, of course, are down. People have had to also reduce staff and make a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. So our past winner this year, um, what is Hendricks Family Promise of Hendricks County was able to uh, provide housing because this year in particular, the amount of evictions has been out of control mm -hmm. across the city and surrounding counties. And so that has been a huge need. And uh, Family Promise of Hendricks County was able to, after winning our award, get additional monies through other um, grant funding areas. And that's area. what so, it's all about. Julian yeah. Robinson, thank you for all you do. And thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah. Thank you. And for more day. information on how to get involved and how to donate, just go to fox59.com slash links.